Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best locations in Black Desert to set up your home base. So the best cities to build your character around based on what you wanna do in Black Desert. This is a much requested guide that I've received in the comments section as well as during my Twitch live streams. So I wanna bring this video to you. Real quick though, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and you still haven't subscribed yet, please consider it so you stay up to date when new content comes out and it would help to grow my channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and let's start with the very first city in the game that you're gonna run across. And actually real quick before we get into Velia, I do have to point out that I'm just gonna give you a general overview of each of these cities and what you would use them for. I'm not gonna say this one's absolutely the best, you have to live here, otherwise you should uninstall the game because that's just messed up, yo. Anyway, Velia is an awesome city to get started with in your Black Desert journey. So if you're just starting out, Velia provides you easy access to some cooking locations to be able to gather resources to cook beer, to power level your cooking early on. It also has access to one of the most amazing AFK fishing spots in the game, right on the Velia beach. And keeping with that beach, it also has coastal access, which means if you want to get yourself into bartering later on, you can get into bartering as well with ability to access all the islands in the game. Another neat thing is that it has the majority of NPCs that you need in Black Desert. So it's got a marketplace, a storage keeper, blacksmiths, the various vendors, you got a stable keeper, tons of different things that you need in Black Desert. It's another great location. And finally, it is relatively central. It is not the most central city in the game, but it is one of the most central cities in the game. So in all, it's a pretty solid choice if you want to build a city here. It's major downfall though, is that it doesn't have a ton of housing available to you. So you can't really max out your storage if you want to post up here for a long period of time. Now, if you're looking for a more central city as you expand out in the world of Black Desert, you're going to have to look no further than like 1,400 units to the south, and that is Heidel. Heidel has all of that extra storage that we were severely lacking over in Velia. You have a ton of houses that you can pick up in order to expand your storage and be able to store all the goods you pick up from your nodes, out on your journeys farming, or wherever you are in the game. And as we already hinted at, Heidel is probably the most central city in the game. You have about equidistant from any corner of the map that you want to go to. Another nice thing about Heidel is that it has the same types of NPCs that we had up in Velia. So we got our storage keepers, we got our merchants, we got a bunch of different other vendors up in the top over here, stable keepers. It's got just about everything you need here in Black Desert to stay up in a city. And it actually does have a wharf, although I don't know how you're gonna get your boat out of here because there's bridges either side of it. All in all, Heidel is a solid city and it is where I am currently living here in Black Desert just because of the ease of access to everything in the game. The next city we're going to take a look at is off and to the left, and it's the one that I'm currently hiding at, and that is over here in Calpheon. So the nice thing about Calpheon is that it is absolutely massive. If you're just looking for a place to max out your storage and be able to dump all of the crap you collect out in Black Desert, this is going to be the place where you want to put it. Downside to the city, though, is that it is not incredibly central. It's okay if you're still living in the Camasilvia region for your grinding or your farming or different things that you do, but it's still pretty far away when compared to Grana. Otherwise, it's really far away from any other thing you might want to do in Black Desert. Once again, offset by the huge amount of storage space and amenities that are available to you in the city. There's pretty much every single type of workshop you could imagine available to you over here. You have tons of houses, tons of different things you can do. Another interesting thing about Calpion is that it has access to some unique vendors, some unique merchants. So this one right here, Milano Bellucci, allows you to purchase different items that you need to power level cooking. So if you're interested in power leveling cooking by making pickled vegetables, you might want to hang out over here just to straight up buy things, make some money, and progress quicker rather than having to travel back and forth. There are also multiple furniture vendors and other unique vendors located on this little stretch right here. So a ton of different things if you're looking to progress in Black Desert. Now if we move up into the northwest of Calpheon, we're going to find a sleeper pick here, and that is going to be Port Ephyria. Port Ephyria is a city that you're going to want to pick up as a barterer. It might not necessarily be your main city that you live in, but you're going to spend a lot of time in this city. That's because you can build up the storage space by a ton in here to aid in your barters that you do on the left side of the map if you're a barterer. But the other major reason is because it has the highest tier boat workshop in the game. This allows you to build new boats as well as equipment for those boats that you can't pick up anywhere else in the game. So if you really are into bartering, like I just said, you're definitely going to want to set up in Port Ephyria. And I guess I'm going to cover the other bartering cities that you'll want to pick up in your life here in Black Desert if you are into bartering once again. And that's going to be Ilya Island for the same reason, easy access to a storage keeper as well as the other items that you might need to barter around this area. And Lima Island simply because it is a midway point where you can also dump stuff into a storage. So those three cities are pretty essential if you want to get into bartering. And another one you might want to pick up if you are in the bartering life is going to be Ankato Inner Harbor. So this also has a few cities you can use to expand the storage. But what you're mainly going to use this one is for your final little barter legs out to Hackavan Island out in the ocean on this side of the map. So those four cities are all very critical for bartering. So anyway, with all those bartering cities out of the way, let's take a look at the next major city, and that's going to be Alta Nova. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, moving on to Valencia. The major reason you want to go to Valencia is because of access to rare nodes, or if your character is at the point where you want to grind in the desert. So rather than run all the way back to Heidel or run to any other city in the game, you can set up in Valencia if you plan on farming desert mobs. Or once again, for the different nodes that spawn here. So like Titanium and Vanadium for crafting Manos accessories, or there's a whole bunch of different nodes that spawn out here that are only available in the desert. Now there is one additional reason to set up out in the desert, and that is for trading. So there is a desert trade buff if you hit Artisan to trading that allows you to get more money for your barters. So if you're big on the bartering life skill, you might want to set up out here. Now the next city on our adventure is going to be Duvenkroon. So Duvenkroon is located way to the south here, and it is pretty far away from just about everything in the game, except for the Dregan mobs. So a major reason to set up in Duvenkroon would be if you want to farm either the Shrekker Necropolis, the Blood Wolf Settlement, or the Shira Ruins, which a lot of people love to farm these locations. Setting up in Duvenkroon means whenever you use a storage butler, your stuff will get sent to that city, just like with any of the cities, like when I set out in Valencia, if you had a storage butler would go there. Same idea. Use your storage butlers, they'll come to Duvenkroon. So players that farm in this area generally have a little bit of investment in the storage space expansions for the city. Now the real reason why anyone actually sets up in this city is going to be for horse breeding in Black Desert. This is probably the best city in the game for that. The reason being is that there's a huge straight line shot that you can take right through the middle of the city in order to level horses AFK overnight. And there are also several tier 5 wild horse spawns, one of them is up over here by this little body of water, that are very close to the main city. So you can run out there, catch a tier 5 horse, put it in the storage, swap servers, go back out there, catch a tier 5 horse, bring it back to the city, go back and rinse and repeat, get a bunch of tier 5s, either sell them, breed them, train them, whatever you want to do with them. Uh, people love this city for horse related activities. Now there's also one more crazy reason to set up in Dubincroon, and that is the hot spring at the location for gathering water. If you want to gather water for alchemy or something like that, you can set up here and you get an energy plus one buff while gathering water, meaning you can gather for a little bit longer. Plus, it has a nice view of the mountains behind you. What'd you think I was going to say? Oh yeah, and one other thing, that evil do us harm guy, except with like shorter hair than he has now, made a video on farming contribution points at Duvencroon. You can get like thousands of these a day, which helps you to power level your contribution level for more imperial boxes, node investment, whatever you want to use them for. So another reason to set up at least an alt in Duvencroon just to run these every single day. Now next up on our little tour is going to be Grana, and Grana also doesn't have a ton of things going for it. Obviously if you're farming the different Camasilvia region mobs, it's a great place to set up because your storage butlers once again send everything to this location. Otherwise not a ton of different reasons to be here. There is also hunting, so if you are into hunting, one of the best spots to hunt in the game is right over here. So it's a short shot to Grana, it's the closest major city that you can go to to do your crafting and building and whatnot. The other major selling point about Grana, though, is the fact that it has a four-story mansion that you can build in. So this is just some random person's house I went into. Turn up. But yeah, so if you're into house building or decorating, you'll definitely want to check out Grana. I mean, it's got some amazing views to set up in and build different things and whatnot. I mean, up here we got little saunas overlooking the mountains, and it's just such a great little view to set up a house. So if you're into house building and things like that, could be a location to pick. Otherwise, really just there for farming mobs or hunting. And that just leaves the new region of Odalita, as well as the main city of Odraxia. And there's really not too much I know about the city, to be totally honest with you. It just came out a couple of days ago. I do know that it has a contribution farm similar to Duvencroon. I need to go and actually do this myself and figure out the numbers, which ones are the best to do and whatnot. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid place to farm contribution points, so you might want to drop an alt there just in case. Now, it doesn't have a ton of housing to select from, but it does have the only location where you can craft the Master Matchlock in the game. So if you are into hunting, you will need to get to at least the second housing unit right here to pick up that item so that you can craft it. But yeah, unless you're grinding the Odalita mobs or you want to maximize your hunting potential, not really a ton going on in this city. But anyway guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. So we took a look at all of the major cities in Black Desert that you- Oh no, I forgot one. I forgot one. You want to be a hipster, huh? You want to just sit out and do nothing? Well, we got this city called Port Ratway out here. You can't build a house. But you got a, a storage keeper, so you can you can store stuff, and uh, yeah, so you know, there you go. Someday that'll open up as an expansion, and then you'll be there first, before anybody else. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it. That's it for the major cities here in Black Desert. If this video is going to help you to progress in Black Desert, let me know in the comment section below. Also, feel free to let me know what city you currently post up in in Black Desert, and maybe some reasons why you chose to do that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you at the next video right here on YouTube, the next live stream this weekend over on Twitch at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.